received the pitch he was looking for, crushes it, and hits it out of the ballpark. Maybe extra bases. Great diving catch for the upset. Recognized the pitch, but once he did, was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. One is on the way. Here's a swing and a drive left field. He got on plane with that high fastball, but look how his bat stays in the zone. The ball on the inside part of the play requires and deliver a strike to third base. Now for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want. That one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usual. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And that one is going to go. His first homer in the majors, and they're going to have to send somebody to get that ball for him. Always such a special moment. You know this is one of the biggest thrills of his life. He's got to be floating around the bases right now. Yeah, he'll remember every detail of that at bat for years, as he should. It's a true once-in-a-lifetime event. Now, Boog, there's so many times when a young player might wonder, is he ever even going to get to the big leagues and do something like this? Well, he doesn't have to wonder anymore. It's really impressive how he's able to take an outside fastball, get around it, and hit it with authority to the pull side. Most guys are popping up weakly to the opposite field. And here it comes. That one blasted deep to right. Newt Bar raging back towards the wall. And it's gone! He sends it out of here. And they add to their lead. It's 4-0. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. To the slight opposite field, into the gap, man, making it look easy. That's two. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having. And now this one's a rocket to right, way back there, gone. He'll circle the bases, third home run of the season, and they're chipping away. It's 5-3. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and... All of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. To doing it. That hits the one dirt, ball, and it's one and two. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is gone. He'll circle the bases, and that gives him a lead. It's 2-1. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And that one almost got him. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Swung on, belted. That one's back there. Out of here. 
He blasts one out to right, and they walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Comes the 2 2. That one is hammered right field. That's got a chance. Gone. He flexes his power with that swing. It's his sixth home run of the season. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2 1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. Swing, and this one's crushed. No doubt about it. Grand slam. He'll touch them all, and they grab the lead. It's 6-2. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. One big swing, and that turns the tables on this one. And when you come to the plate with the bases loaded and you've got some pop, you know it's hard not to think about the chance to hit a grand slam. And that can be a trap sometimes. Outfielder, Emmanuel Paquez. One for three. Ball one, no strikes. Two outs, bases are full. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. The one, two. Swung on, belted. That one back. Out of here, Grand Slam. He blasts one out to right, and they add to their lead. It's 11 6. He absolutely feasts on right handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Uh, one down. Next for the Padres, Emmanuel Paquez. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Home run number 10 on the year. And the Padres take the lead. It's 2-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back.
Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Ball one. And that's in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. That one is absolutely belted. Out of here! His 11th of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 4-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of years old. And he was born in Puerto Rico. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field, pretty well struck. Way back there, and that one is going to go. He circles the bases, his 12th of the season. It's 10 6. That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, Boog. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. And thanks to that offense, they'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. Emmanuel Paquez now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And it's even no, up. That's out. Pajes on its second with two down. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one ripped. That's back. He'll circle the bases, his 13th home run of the season. It's 4-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Not the easiest One thing out. when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And out of here. His second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 8-0. Looks like it's in the zone for such a long time, and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park. Back to Chris Matt. And Chris, he seems a lot more comfortable pitching here at home than on the road, right? Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Now fly ball to right center. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two down. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under... And now the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. Number eight, Emmanuel Paquez. 
And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one's carrying. And it's gone! Home run! Home run number 15 on the year. And they add to their lead. It's 5-1. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Kez, the next up for the Padres. That one is absolutely belted. And out of here. He'll touch them all. And we have a tie ball game. It's 5-5. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. And that one hammered. Trap raging back towards the wall. Looking up, and that one's gone his 17th of the year and they slice into the lead it's 5-2 singing he's been red hot yeah another big swing of the bat for him man he is really seeing the ball well in this one oh that one got in the jet stream on a line drive we saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders which is usually bad news and all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Back to the top. Already homered in this game. Well struck right field. Taylor moving back. Gone! That one felt good. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 6-4. This crowd back alive. see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat you watch him from the on-deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing and there's a fly ball deep right field gone he made him pay for that one and they tack on to their lead it's 4-1 A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Reels. And that's a strike. Swung on, belted. That one back. And that ball is gone. A solo shot. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0.
That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Back at target field, set for the bottom of the third, and now Randy Arozarena.